the land was being cleared for cattle raising. And the director of the Animal Protection Society, she called me because she knew that there were slots in that area. Before we came, so the operator of the excavator was trying to push over the trees very carefully so that the slots wouldn't be hurt. Once the tree fell down really hard, but still the slot was unharmed. The, the operator would allow us to go in and get the animals out. We would take them out and put them in bags, pillow bags, in which they can breed. Normally when we get a reported slot, and it's one animal, having suddenly this amount of slots is amazing. This is my house, where we build this emergency uh, shelter. When I uh, walk from my uh, bedroom to the kitchen, I see slots hanging all over the place. One escaped. No. Yeah, a, a little one. Everybody thought that somebody else was watching it, and obviously that was not the case. <laughs> I think it's 200 animals in total, of which 95% were slots about two-toed and uh, three-toed slots. We don't really know that much about three-toed slots. This particular species only occurs on the Guyana Shield. You have to feed them. It's really very stressful. The way we've been able to handle this situation is because of our volunteer network. Normally we release the animals we get within one to three days, but in this case we have babies. We think the babies need to stay two to three more months until they've reached the right weight.